So I'm actually on yesterday's vlog and what I mean by that is that I still am on the same day that I filmed yesterday's vlog. I just got home from the evening shift that I went to at the end of yesterday's video and the reason I'm filming now is because I'm really excited. When I went to go to work yesterday, the mailman was standing outside our house and he had a package for me. And I can't go to bed now, even though it is almost midnight. So I just got to unbox this package right now with you guys and to see what I got. And this is the package. This is a new camera. And now if you have been watching my videos, you might think, wow, this is the Canon R7, but it's not. Actually, I got tired of waiting for the R7 and it's not the R6 either that I thought about buying. This is actually, it is a Canon R, but it's actually the Canon EOS R10. Yeah, I got the cheapest one, the worst one of the new APS-C cameras. And the reason that I got the Canon EOS R10 is I got tired of waiting for the R7. And because I have been in contact with a company that is shipping over a speed booster for EF to the RF mount. So I am able to use older EF lenses, full frame lenses on this Canon R10. That makes it almost a full frame view of those lenses. And in this box, we have a lot of paperwork. We have a battery. This is the same type of battery that I have in my Canon M6 Mark II. We have the charger for the battery charging cable. Yeah, next strap. This is not going to be used. And then we have the EF to RF adapter from Canon. And here we have the camera itself. Now I am curious to how big it is. It's actually not that big. It kind of reminds me of the Canon M50. It feels like the Canon M50. I am curious to check out how this camera works for video. One of the things that I really don't like about these cameras is this top dial. The reason I'm not liking it is because there is so much distance between the video mode and the manual photography mode. Like I have to click one, two, three, four times to go from video to manual photography mode. I mean, this would have been so much better if they just placed the video and manual photography mode right next to each other. Anyway, I just needed to unbox this camera right now before I go to bed. And I think I'm going to use this camera for the rest of this vlog. Um, so yeah, let's try it. You know, one of the first videos I ever did on YouTube was how to make these kind of spring rolls. That was the time when I was just trying out different kind of stuff, seeing how editing works, YouTube works, uploading videos in general worked. And if you go way, 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 way back on my channel, you might find that video and you can make them yourself. I think it's time to put up these shelves on this wall. It's not perfect, but it will have to do. One down, two to go. So I finally got the shelves in place and today I have been testing out this, the Canon EOS R10. My first impressions of the R10 after using it just one day is that the body is smaller than I had anticipated. 
it reminds me a lot of the Canon M50 when it comes to size and feel. It feels a little bit plasticky. The screen, the quality of the screen is a lot better than on my Sony cameras, but Sony is known for having bad quality flip out screens. Anyway, the screen on the Canon camera, the Canon EOS R10 is really great. There are two things bothering me with the camera after using it for one day. The first thing is, like I mentioned when I opened it, this dial, switching it from video mode to manual photography mode, it's those two things should be right next to each other if they are going to continue with this dial. The other thing that bothers me with this camera is the microphone input. If you have a microphone on the side of the camera or the jack inside the microphone input and you want to flip your screen, you need to pull the screen back and then flip it to be able to put it out again. You can't just flip the screen like that because then the screen will touch the microphone jack. So that's the two things that bothers me the most with this camera after using it one for one day. That's it for this video. I need to now put all the footage into my computer and start editing this video so you can watch it, which hopefully you are doing right now. Tomorrow might be a different day. Tomorrow the plan is, if we can make it work, is for me and a buddy of mine to do a comparison video between the EOS R6 and the Sony a7 IV. And the plan is to compare those two cameras using the same lens. A Sigma, I believe it's a 35 millimeter. 24? 35. I think it's a 35 f1.4 Canon EF mount lens. So I'm going to use the Sigma MC11, MC, MC11 adapter, and he's going to use the regular Canon adapter, the EF to RF adapter on his camera. So I hope we're able to do that tomorrow. I'm not quite sure yet, but you'll see in the next video. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you got something out of it. So maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.